for the listeners who might be thinking about starting their own CPG brand or their own company, you know, what kind of time horizon are you are you thinking about as you obviously given your experience under with with Kind, but then today, just to give people a window into look, here's here's the game, you know, here's really and you might not succeed, but here at least is what you need to prepare for. What would you tell those people? Yeah, so I am in my late forties and I just where I am in, in my career and in life, you know, I really wanted to do something different, which was this startup. And I wanted to do it for the next 10 years. So we made a commitment to each other and we said, hey, we're going to give this a go. We need to be, you know, really very true to each other, very making sure that if things are not working out, we say it. But if we hit certain struggles, and we have, you know, through the couple of years that we've been on market, that we see this as a 10-year project. You know, it, it took kind 15 years to really get going, and we thought, maybe naively so, that we could leverage some of the experience from kind and maybe do it in five years less than kind to have this, you know, crushing it then. And now, actually, I think the opposite. Now that we've been doing it for a while, it takes more time and it takes more money to do it right. But we are at the point that the team is in much better shape this year than it was the year before. Our performance is doing better with relationships with the trade is doing better. Our cash flow profit you know, looks a lot better than it last year. Why would I exit now? Like now we have a really successful business. I don't lose any sleep at night thinking, hey, what what if Somos doesn't make it anymore? So now I might have been pushing, you know, my my time in the company actually farther out than I did it before I started. 